We are uh, still continuing to focus on the big story this morning, which is Moody's decision to upgrade India's sovereign rating for the first time since 2004. Uh, Dr. Bimal Jalan, former governor of the Reserve Bank of India, is joining me. Dr. Jalan, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, your thoughts, uh, Moody's has bought into all the structural reforms and is making the assessment that this will all lead to a higher potential growth rate uh, for India in the coming years, sir. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there is no doubt about that. Yeah, it's very good, very positive for us, and I'm very glad, very happy that it happened. Uh, you share their <laughs> assessment, Dr. Jalan, uh, both on potential absolutely. growth and also on uh -huh. the debt to GDP, sir. No, no, but absolutely. You see, in, the, in terms of the reforms which have gone on, say, you take the GST, for example. I mean, that and the uh, GST, then uh, also the government has taken on the bank recapitalization, the moves on recapitalization, and uh, so on and so forth. And our fundamentals are very strong anyway. So the confidence has increased, and this will be very, very positive for our economy, I hope. Uh, Dr. Jalan, what is your perspective on this debt to GDP issue? You know, for years, rating agencies have said that at about 64, 65 percent, we are very high, and hence they have sort of stayed away from rating upgrades. Uh, what is your perspective on debt to GDP and how it moves? Because I, I, we, it's tough to see how it would come down, sir. We can see it stabilizing, but it's tough to see how it would come down. Yeah, yeah. But as you are seeing, I mean, the, uh, so far as the grading is concerned, that has gone up now. I mean, in the sense that nobody is worried about the amount of uh, debt to GDP ratio that India has. And uh, the government has also taken moves to try and make sure that the fiscal deficit is not very high. I mean, and the particular target, 3.2% or something like that, is likely to be met. But even if it doesn't met, it should be 0.1 here or there. I mean, that doesn't matter at all. But generally, I mean, there is, it's a very positive scene. And uh, I don't think that there is any particular problem in the debt to GDP ratio that you are talking about, so far as we are concerned, okay. as of now. Uh, Dr. Jalan. If the pushes up, that will be very nominal growth pushes up, and the real growth pushes up, that will be very good too. Okay. Uh, Dr. Jalan, how important do these rating upgrades tend to be uh, for, for, you know, for an emerging economy like India, either from a fund flows or a longer term investment flows perspective? I know they're great news uh, events, uh, but you know, in your experience, how important do they end up being uh, from a slightly more medium term standpoint, sir? So, you see, I mean, if you look at the long term or medium term, and that's a completely different position. Because supposing, for example, if something negative happens in our country, in terms of policy or reforms or whatever. I mean, I mean, this is just a theoretical point. I mean, then obviously every year they, uh, they review the uh, rating or every six months also they review the rating because the investors are very, very responsive to this kind of rating. And uh, therefore, they are also very cautious. But uh, I mean, there is no chance of our being, I mean, as of now, that uh, in terms of whatever has been achieved by the government is very, very positive. I mean, they have also announced infrastructure investments and increasing investment. Our investments are fairly positive anyway. So I'm seeing an all-round positive picture just now. Uh, just one last question, Dr. Jalan. I mean, you know, these are announcements, and yes, uh, I think Moody's and a lot of other people are taking note of these announcements. Uh, but, uh, you know, to uh, get those announcements to fruition, you need to uh, you take certain steps along the way. So, for instance, on GST, on recap, uh, what do you think are the next steps that the government needs to take to ensure that these don't end up just being announcements and they actually do what Moody's hopes it will do, which is increase our potential growth rate uh, and make us a structurally stronger economy? No, well, the government is already taking action on the GST, for example. You know, I mean, they have uh, on a uh, number of simplifications, etc., have been introduced, and that's the very high priority, is to introduce GST. I mean, GST has already been introduced, and to make it effective, I mean, the government has also announced that we will, you know, take care to make sure that uh, this actually works on the ground. And if there are any problem with businesses or persons, I mean, they will certainly take care of it. So I'm, I'm very... Uh, positive on GST because this you know the large, one of the what you might say foremost moves in terms in terms of integration of our economy as a whole as a country and uh, in, over a period of time there is also the GST council where the states are present that you would see just give it some time I mean give it six months or one year to actually on the ground take place with um, uh, with whatever views the businesses have the whatever the views the uh, particular people who are investing have. And uh, they, would, they would certainly make sure that GST works on the ground.
Would of that, you, I have no doubt. Would yeah. you expect Dr. Jalan uh, to, uh, for the short term disruptions to play out what within a year or so? Because there is genuine concern on what is happening on the informal sector. For instance, on the export side, uh, you know, the decline in export growth seems to be linking back uh, to the fact that there is a disruption in the informal sector and they are not being able to do business as they would, which was expected. But, you know, over what period of time should we expect those disruptions to abate, sir? No, but you give six months. Okay. Uh, six months of time you should give. Okay. Uh, because by, by the time it happens on the ground, and the actual, for example, we talked about GST. So when you make a change in the law or change in the GST model, as it were, or make it simplify or something, on the ground across the states, it may take some time. So this has to be made effective and down the level to the ground. I mean, that is the district, there is state, there is, you know, all, all, I mean, there are various mediums which have to be crossed. And so it will take some time, I have no doubt. But the very fact that all this has been announced is a very positive movement. All right, Dr. Jalan, thank you so much. Really appreciate you uh, sharing your perspective. Uh, that was Dr. Bimal Jalan, former governor of the Reserve Bank of India.